dang it. So this one I'm going to read since you've a read last time and we're going to do Charlie Cook's favourite book. Let's get started. This is the book, it's um, Charlie Cook's favourite book written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Alex Shep. Sheffeller. Let's get started. So I've read this book, book a few times and it's really good so I really want to share it with you guys. This is my favourite book. Once when upon a time, time, there was a boy. His name. His, there was a boy called Charlie Cook who curled up in his cosy chair to read his favourite book. About a leaking pirate ship that very nearly, nearly sank and a pirate chief who got the blame and had to walk the plank. He went digging with his hook. At last he found a treasure book chest and in it was a book about a girl a little, about a girl called Goldilocks and three indignant bears who cried, Who had her porridge? Who's been sitting in our chairs? They went into the bedroom and Baby Bear said, Look, she's in my bed and what's more she's got my favourite book. So these have got twists, which is really good, about Sir Percy Pilk, Pilk and Ton, a bold and fearless knight, and told the dragon, wait, I'm not quite ready for a fight, you must hear this one first. And then his armour clanked and shook, as he read a loud joke that he found inside his favourite book. Ho, ho, he, he. About a rolling ra rattle lot, a very a very well read frog, who jumped upon a lily pod, then jumped upon a log, then jumped into a library who stood that which stood beside a brook, and went ready to ready to ready ready to ready to ready to ready to as she jumped upon a book. About an oak tree full of birds, each bird, which each bird had built a nest. They had they had a competition to decide which one was the best. They chose an owl to judge it, and the winner was a rook, who nest whose nest was lined with pages, with his very favourite book. This one's my favourite part. About a girl who saw a flying saucer in the sky. Some small green men were in it as they waved by, as they flew, as they, as they waved, as they flew by. She tugged her mother's sleeve and said, look mum, what I've just seen. But the mum said, hush, I'm trying to read my favourite magazine. Oh, that, yeah, this one's my favourite. About a wicked jewel, jewelry, jewelry, jewel, jewelry, I can't say that word, jewelry, fee, fee who stole the king's best friend, but got stuck behind some sheep, which lowered his car right down. The king delayed nine, 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 and soon the cops had caught the crook and flung him into prison, where he read his favourite book. About a greedy co crocodile who was fed up with fish and went on land to try to find some other kind of dish. He went into a bookshop and grew ew, and, they, and he there grew grew even greedier while reading on page nine, ninety on a large exclopedia about a, about the biggest birthday cake in the world the world has ever ever seen. The team of royal cake makers had made it for the queen. The cake was so delicious that a famous spaceman took a slice on its way to Jupiter. He also took a book about a ghost who glided around the castle every night, carrying her head and giving everyone a fright. fright. She kept it up until uh, up till morning, then she, there she found a shaddy hook and put her head back on again to read her favourite book. About a cosy armchair and a boy called Charlie Cook. Well, can I see the last page? I want to see if it had that ghost. 
looking at this. So oh, that's a picture. And look at the first part, but the horse has its head on. And the bit and then the croak and then the teddy bear, then the king, and then the cake, and then the astronaut, and then the knight. So we really enjoyed this book and if you did as well please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!